Hey guys, welcome here again to Motoroids. I am sitting in the Thar Rocks 4x4 AX7 L variant and in this video, I will let you know as to what are the differences between the top spec AX7 4x4 and the 4x2 version. So, here you will have a few extra buttons on the 4x4 and this here is the crawl assist which basically is like a cruise control for off-road and it allows the car to be driven at constant speeds without any inputs on the accelerator pedal and the car will keep on moving up to speeds of 15 kilometers per hour and you basically have to use the cruise control to set the level you have seven levels to choose from what it does is that you don't really have to interfere uh, with the accelerator the traction is taken care of by the car's traction control system it will keep moving at a steady pace even if there is slush or if there is uh, undulations or rough surfaces or whatnot even on inclines or declines the car will keep moving at a consistent pace now the next button that we're going to talk about is the intelli turn assist button and this also works up to speeds of 15 kilometers per hour and to engage this the car should be in four low and you have to have the mud mode engaged where the rear diff is logged so let's see how it works so once you engage the mud mode as you can see the rear diff lock is engaged electronically and then when you turn the car hard to make use of this feature you have to turn the steering wheel fully you have to lock it and then what the car does is that it applies brakes on the inner wheels and reduces the turning radius drastically especially if you're in mud you'd feel like you're almost drifting at a very slow speed and very tight corners can be taken and this is very useful when you're going off-roading and there's no space for you to take a three-point turn and that's where that button really comes handy now apart from that you have the obviously the hill descent control and the rest of the buttons are shared with the two-wheel drive version this is the footwell light button if you're wondering what it is next let's see what else is there and of course you have this lever here so to go from too high to four high you can use it directly then you have to make sure that you're in neutral if you want to go to four low after pressing this you can go to four low another great thing about this car is that you can have the rear diff logged just with the press of this button and for that you need to be in four low of course and once you do that you can engage the rear diff so as you can see it's engaged right now and now this is disengaged so that's how this button works now another difference over the two wheel drive version is that when you press this button which is essentially the modes button so here on the screen you will see zap and zoom modes on the two wheel drive and the snow mud and sand modes but on the two wheel drive it's just a function of the traction control only two wheels are moving but here the four wheel drive system the four explore system is going to come into play and you have to basically shift to four wheel drive high to engage the four wheels of course so that's how it works and when you go to the mud mode automatically the rear diff is engaged so you don't have to uh, manually engage the diff lock at the rear when you go to mud mode it's done automatically so that's that guys these are the differences that you have on the four wheel drive version or its two wheel drive counterpart and I really hope that this was of some use to you. If you liked it, hit the like button, subscribe to Motroids. And until next time, this is your friend Amit Changani signing off. Rev hard, rev free and drive safe.